The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers' eternally wise lobbyists. After losing to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life. Bull sharks have been known to eat echinoderms when desperate, to which I can very much relate. can detect odor corridors, miles-long scent trails spread by ocean currents. a criminal penalty of up to $100,000. But sharks are notoriously profligate when it comes to paying fines.
turtle numbers have exploded. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them. Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. tendency to anthropomorphize them into lovable cartoon characters belies the fact that sea turtles are ornery creatures that can bite through bone. Wicked fangs gleam. Like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier mache. Give it time. I'm sure an orca will kill it. Take those boats to Caviar Key. That is, if you want a bounty. Oh! Rev those engines. Another shark bounty awaits. As is the trend in other coastal towns, long stretches of Port Clovis's shoreline are now the exclusive domain of the wealthy. The voracious sea beast tears into one of her favorite foodstuffs, the sea. <laughs> Using crude weapons to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters honed while in prison.
makes his folk dog day boat at painted sails. But, you know, so do a lot of the New York Cuyons. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. There would have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. The Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. The situation has escalated, and the price on the shark's head has risen. To see this area is to witness the inability of the hydrosphere to support the growth of humanized landscapes along the Gulf.
500 million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious flow-through floor plan. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. Thanks to powerful risk assessment software, we now know that this was a wildly idiotic place to build vacation homes. The battle is over, but the war goes on. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Bull shark sensory organs are all situated near its mouth. A shark's sense of smell is simply astonishing. In spite of terms like card shark and pool shark, actual sharks excel neither at poker nor billiards. By putting sharks in their place, hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands.
evasive action. This local seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. The multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell.
Alpha inside it. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. Despite increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from buoyant. Where the hell The hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. by their conical snout and crescent-shaped caudal fin. It's estimated that only one out of a thousand sea turtles lives to adulthood. That means this turtle is quite the survivor.
The white and black attack. The Orca. Bull sharks can locate prey from great distances using both smell and sound. Once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trip, killing things. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass.